Hello, my crafty friends. Well, I've got some um, some show and tell things and that I want to do first of all, and then we're going to do um, a page in our, from our mystery box. And then I think I want to um, just paint on this canvas, just play around. This is a canvas drop cloth, and I just cut off a piece of it to fit the size of my table to use as an under paper. But, um, but I just decided I wanted to maybe paint on it tonight. So we'll see. Hi, Nina. I'm glad you're here. We're going to start. Hi, Candy. It's good to see you. I'm going to start with, I'm going to wait until other people get here to talk about that a little bit, but I'm going to start with some stuff I've been doing. Um, I've been doing some tea staining of file folders that does make them a little harder to work with, I think, <laughs> but, um, but I think it gives extra, you know, the beginnings of some fun. I may go back and tea stain these again because they didn't take a whole lot. Uh, I don't know. Hi, Cheryl. This one did really good inside. All of these, I had turned them wrong side out because I thought if the, if the coffee stains this, that it might show better here. Because this has plastic over it. Most file folders I have don't have plastic, but these do. So I was trying to get some of it to go there. But um, you can't really see it except for what, you know, going on top of it, which comes off real easy. So I don't know if that worked or not. But the in insides look good. So when I'm in the mood to play with those. Um, well, let's see. I got them all messed up here. I have some... Like I said, I'll probably go back and add some more to these. And then, um, I did some of these, and I, I, I did, did these with, first I put some coffee on them, and then I went back, because we made coffee, and then I made my tea, and I made my husband's tea, and I thought, I'm just going to use the tea bags on top of this coffee. So my tea is a, um, it's a herbal blend. It's, um, it's a green tea that I mix with the TZAO brand called, uh, brand tea and it's iced passion is the name of the tea. I don't know if it's passion fruit or passion flower. I think it's probably passion flower, but, um, anyway, it makes this gorgeous pink looking um really fuchsia-y looking tea but when when it gets on paper it becomes blue this was pink when i poured it in the thing you know sprinkled it on here and it turns blue and that was fun i thought those would be were fun with you know a combination of the different stuff on them some of them got more blue than others. Some got more coffee. Some got more tea. See, this one's got coffee and tea and a little bit of the blue. Anyway, these are going to be fun to make something out of. But when I saw how gorgeous that blue was coming out. Um... Hi, Mindy. Hi, Holly. Good to see you. When I saw how pretty the blue was coming out, I decided I was going to dye some papers just with the um, the tea, the passion tea. And I've never done this before because I always drink that tea, you know. <laughs> but I, I just got a tea bag and I put it in, um, you know, and steeped it. And you can see there's a big difference between some of these pages are are darker than other ones well but um and some of this is cardstock and some of it is um a 24 pound paper but this was just that tea and 
it was really i think it turned out really pretty they they're they vary in colors but to me they mostly look kind of a chambray color of blue um hi mary it's good to see you hi janet i'm glad you're here julie it's good to see you too i hope i haven't missed anybody I'm glad you're all here. Anyway, that was really fun. And I watched um, this tea. Let me go back to this. This tea, it comes in tea bags, but each tea bag makes 64 ounces of tea. So, hi, Barbara. I'm glad you're here. So, I took that tea bag and I, I put it in about 20 ounces of water. And that was plenty to do all of these papers. Um, and if you wanted to make lighter color, you might could, you know, not put it as, as strong as I did, but I got a big variation in color anyway. So, but those tea bags, there's six of them. And like I said, each tea bag makes 64 ounces and they cost like $3 and 26 cents, I think at Walmart. And I buy them sometimes off of Amazon, sometimes from Target because Walmart doesn't always have them, but that's, um, for a price comparison, that's that's pretty good for herbal tea bags. Um, I just ordered something. Let me find it and show you. And I kind of overdid it here. <laughs> but I wanted to see which would work better. And Rosemary Morris made some dye with this tea. And it's called uh, Butterfly Pea, P-E-A, like a snow pea or a, um, anyway, that's what these flowers are called. And so she, she made it with this. And I was looking this up. And this is really healthy tea for you to drink. So I'm sure I'll be drinking some of it. Probably not what I do with this, but I might. But I also ordered the tea bags that are the same thing. The butterfly pea flower. Um, but this is tea bags. And I'm going to dye some papers with these. But hers came out a gorgeous, gorgeous blue. And so um, I ordered these. And then I remembered that my tea would do that. <laughs> so, um, oh, you ordered some too, Mary? <laughs> Anyway, I'm excited to try it. I haven't tried it yet, but I got these both off of Amazon. And this one has, I'm trying to see if it says how much is in here, 100 grams of the flowers. And it was like $11.99. This one has 30 tea bags. And these are one, it says that makes one to two cups. One tea bag can make one to two cups of hot water. So, um, and when I was looking this up, I noticed people talking about that if you use it just this by itself, hi Sharon, if you use this by itself, it makes a gorgeous blue tea, but if you add lemon to it, it makes a purple tea. So, um, they say it tastes very bland. It, it's, it doesn't have hardly any taste at all. Kind of like green tea, but a little milder than green tea. So it's mostly, people use it mostly because it's got great antioxidants and because it's pretty. <laughs> so it's healthy and it's pretty, but it doesn't have a lot of flavor. Anyway, um, I'll be doing a video where I try these out and I'll do some with the lemon and see if when you put it on paper, if it stays purple. I don't know. But that'll be fun to try too. But I just found that, that part out about the adding lemon when I was looking up, you know, what people use this tea for. So, so there's, there's a commercial for something I'm going to be doing. <laughs> hi, Cindy. Did I say hi to you? I'm not sure, but I'm glad you're here. And, um, I also got some things last week at, um, at Dollar Tree and I totally forgot about them because I was in a hurry when I got them and they just sat, you know, in the house.
but I did want to show you these things. But what reminded me about them was when I made this this afternoon and I, ma I made a video and I was going to put pockets in it. And then I remembered that I had bought this to put my um, watercolor brushes and stuff in to take on the trip. And it it's just, um, it's a nice size to just go with this. So that, that'll that work out fine. I don't have to put pockets in this. But, um, but this was at Dollar Tree and it's really long, which I thought a lot of the pencil bags are not long enough to put paint brushes in. But this one is, it's 11 and a half by six and a half inches. So I thought that was unusual. They only had one or I'd have gotten Hannah one. I may go back before we go on our trip and see if I can find one. I also, while I was at Dollar Tree, found these little key tags, which I thought would be fun to go in our tag booklet that we're doing right now. So I'll probably play with these a little bit tomorrow. Uh, that reminds me, I need to say this several times tonight so y'all know, but um, we may end up having to start late tomorrow or we may end up um, switching to Wednesday. We're hoping everything will go good and that tomorrow at two will be great. Hannah, is that you? Just a second. Your head is working. Well, I was wondering why you didn't just come on in after you knocked. Um, okay. Sorry. It's not a lot of room. Um, let me tell them about these things real quick, and then we'll get to that. You can just stand there and spin a minute. Okay. <laughs> Um, that sounds really silly if you don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, we'll show them what you're doing in a minute. Okay, what else was I going to say? Oh, anyway, oh, tomorrow. We will try to be on it too, but if we can't, we may be running a little late. If we're going to not be on tomorrow at all, I will be sure to let you know that we will, that we're going to switch to Wednesday. But the plan is to try to go ahead and stream tomorrow and work on our tag books. But I just wanted to give you all a heads up just in case it doesn't work out. Okay, that ta tag book. Okay. And then I found these cute erasers. And you know, Tanya and I always do carve December in December. So I got a couple of these um, to carve on. So I thought those would be cute. This one would make a good flower if you did like a rosebud and then did this for the base of the flower, you know. So there's probably a lot of ways you could use it. And then round ones are always good. And then Tanya's talked several times about doing something, some project with board books. So um, thanks, Holly. And I had, uh, she didn't start talking about that until after I sent the rest of my board books away. <laughs> so I didn't have any to work with, but um, she was talking about different shapes or whatever of board books. And I found these when I was at Dollar Tree and I thought they would be fun. I don't know what her project is, but I'm hoping these will work for it. But look how the, the pages are um, in this book. And then this one's kind of like that, too. And then here's another one. So I got these three, hoping that these will work for her project. Is there one more? Yeah. Anyway, those look fun. If we don't do them for whatever project she's talking about, I can do something with them else later. But I wanted to show you those things. And then the other thing I wanted to show you is that Hannah and I, on our, um, we were, we were supposed to, most of you know this, but we were supposed to go on a trip, she and I, to the Taos Wool Festival for her graduation present. And that's not going to work out because of, you know, 2020. <laughs> but, um, but we decided since New Mexico is closing themselves off and not letting anybody in, we're going to go to Colorado instead. And we're going to take our wool festival with us. And we had budgeted some money to buy some wool while we were there and to buy a spindle. So instead, we ordered some wool and we ordered spindles and we're going to take them with us. And I just thought I would show you. 
Um, Hannah's been spinning on hers quite a bit already. You want to? I need a moment. Okay, she needs a moment. She's got to wind it on. This is mine. This is called a Turkish spindle, and I've only done a little bit. I didn't want to do too much because I know I couldn't do enough to t make a whole ball before we left. Because of my shoulder, I'm, I'm going to spin a little bit every day, but I can't, I'm going to have to take it easy on how much I spin um, trying to get my shoulder up to being able to spin more while we're gone. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, we each bought Turkish spindles because uh, the only one Turkish spindle we have is a very big, heavy one. And we want, we like the idea. I don't know if you can see this, but you want the way you wind it on is a special way. You go over one and under two or over two and under one. And you do that combination over and over and over. And, um, and when you get through, you can pull this whole thing, pull this stick out and push this up. And it makes a ball that then you can ply from. Okay. Anyway, this one is mine. And it's made out of, it's got a mahogany whirl on it. And then Hannah's is red cedar. And she's already done quite a, quite a decent ball on here. But I just thought I would show you those. Oh, here, here is the, the massive one that we've got. So you can compare them. This one I, I don't have for you to demonstrate how it comes out. Yeah. Um, so if you just take it and push it up like this, then you can pull this out and pull this out. And of course, this didn't have much of a ball on it, but, and then your ball comes off in one piece. Assuming you have one. Assuming you have one on there. <laughs> <laughs> we just had a string on there, not a ball. So, um, yeah, and it weighs about five times as much as these. But anyway, so this, these are the spindles we got. And you can see Hannah's is thicker. And so it weighs more than mine does. Well, it's not that much thicker if I put them side by side. I guess it's just a heavier wood. But, but it does weigh a little bit more than mine does. Anyway, we're looking forward to using these. And, um, okay, you can go now. Unless you want to wait for your wool. This is an undyed wool that I've, that's what she's spinning on hers. And that's what I've got right here. But um, what we ordered, because we wanted it to be fun. I'll show you this one first so she can take it in the house. Because this one's hers. I ordered me some like it after we saw it because it was just so gorgeous. But um, that's more than I thought it was. This is four ounces. That's more than I thought it was. <laughs> but look at the colors. Isn't that just beautiful? It's just got all kinds of colors in it. It's going to make gorgeous yarn. I'm so excited. <laughs> anyway, this, well, let me just go ahead and show you these two because I want to see how well they work together because I really think they will. You don't have to wait. I can bring it in to you later. Okay. But I do want to show you all how, how good these go together. So um, we got four... And all of them have similar colors in them or some of the same colors in them. But they have a different, um, you know, the which one is the dominant. dominant. Thank you. Which one is dominant is different in each one. So here's this one. This one is called sandalwood. This one is called sage. But you can see they're similar colors. This one is, um, these are dyed wools that have been, um, each one of these colors was done separately and then they carded them and put them all together. So this, it take, it's a big process to do this. Because they each of these colors was dyed separately, and then they were put together, uh, which is why I bought this. There are what you can call you call space dyeing or those kinds of things. I can do that pretty easy. This would be very difficult for me to try to do myself. This one is called Riverstone, and um, 
See, it's got the same colors. It's just got a different... Um, which one is the majority of it is, is, is different. It is extremely soft, Julie. I've always thought I was allergic to wool because it's so itchy, but uh, it turns out that that's just cheap wool. If you get good wool, it's not, it's, it's wonderful. <laughs> so and this one is called Baltic. But they're the same, you know, like I said, the same colors. So I think these will work well together if we decide to crochet or weave something um, with them all. Now, Hannah didn't get this one. She just got these two. And um, she's got, well, she will have because she ordered some more of this. Eight ounces of each one of these two. I got four ounces of each of these. And then I ordered me some of this. So I don't have mine of this yet. But um, but I'm looking forward to doing something with all of them. Hi, Susan. It's good to see you. It is and it isn't expensive. Um, it depends on how you're thinking about it. And, and so let me tell you, this is an expensive way to buy wool. Because this this ball right here is four ounces of wool and it was $15. But if you think about this in terms of how much fun you have with it, this is hours of spinning. <coughs> and then it's hours of weaving or crocheting. And so, you know, you get a lot of fun out of this $15. But because we were planning to buy a fleece, let me just put it this way. You, this, we bought all together two pounds of wool, okay, including what we bought this time and what we we added on. That two pounds of wool cost us about $150 altogether, okay, because it was $15 for each four ounces. Now, we've had that money saved to buy a fleece. We thought we could get I we could get a good fleece for maybe a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars, which would be six to eight pounds of wool. So that um and you get you get a lot more wool from um from a fleece, but you get a lot of grease too. So once you wash it, it you know that shrink the amount of wool you get is not a lot is less. But let's take a comparison. If I bought this, okay, this wool cost about $20, uh, $25 a pound. This is $15 for four ounces. And four ounces is quite a bit. You're right. If you go to the store and you get a four ounce skein of yarn, that's how much one of these will make. Okay, it's four ounces, so it would make a four ounce skein of yarn. Just what size yarn that you make depends on um, how big or small you spin it. So your length, four ounces, could be a big bulky yarn that's not very long, or it could be a very, very long skinny yarn. So you can um, do whatever you want to do with that. But normally I buy this and I dye it myself, but I can't do this. I can do space dyeing and, um, and, and that's a lot of fun. And I like the yarns that I've made out of that, but this will be, this will be special because we've never bought this kind of thing before. So, so, um, anyway, we bought this and we're going to spin it. I probably will not, I'm going to be honest. I will not spin all of my wool on a spin on the spindle because <laughs> it would take me too long but um so i'll end up spinning quite a bit of it probably on my spinning wheel and um i'm wanting to crochet a shawl or weave a shawl one or the other with it that's what that's my plan is to make a shawl out of it now i could i could make a shawl with you know um depending on how dense or how delicate I make it, you know, I could make a shawl with one of these, 
with four ounces or I could make a shawl with eight ounces. It just depends on how uh, lacy you make it because you get more length and width for less yarn if you make it lacy than if you make it dense. So I don't know for sure if I'll be able to do something else. I may make a shawl or a scarf and a hat. I don't know. So um, anyway, this is this is our um, our compensation for not getting to go to the wool festival. We're just going to have our own little wool festival. Now let me find the bags and put these up. But I want to show you. Um, Okay, we got them. We got it from Paradise Fibers, and it's multicolored merino wool roving. And if you look under that, they have like 20 choices, and these were four of those choices. And this one is Baltic, and that's this one right here that I'm fixing to put up. When we ordered them, I thought the, this one, Riverstone was going to be my favorite and I still love it but we both just fell in love with this one when it came on the website it looks much much paler than this it doesn't look this dark I'm hoping that what we just ordered will still be this batch and it will look like this okay this one is Riverstone and it looks really it's yeah there we go that's more like what it really looks like Hannah ordered eight ounces of this one and eight ounces of this one. And I ordered eight ounces of this one and then four ounces of all of these. So, so I ordered a little more. Well, one extra four ounces more than she did. Okay, this one, it's the same thing, but this one's called Sage. And that's this. Okay, come on. There we go. The original bags they came in were these little bags. Once I got them out, I couldn't get them back in there. <laughs> so I just, I just stuck the bags into these bigger bags. It's okay because truly they need to fluff up a little bit anyway. They don't need to be... Um, they don't need to be compacted that much after you get them. But in order to ship them, they, they compact them quite a bit. And this one is sandalwood. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's very, very nice wool. I'm very impressed with it. I wasn't sure. A lot of times when you buy the dyed wools, it's not that great a wool. It doesn't feel that soft, but this feels amazing. So, Well, they, there's, there's merino everywhere because it's like the softness standard. And so they've imported merino everywhere. There's merino in Europe. There's merino in the United States. There are lots and lots and lots of uh, sheep that they cross with merino. Like um, some of the, what I've bought a lot of is called a Corydale cross. And it's Corydale crossed with merino. So it's a stronger, longer wool but it's it's softer because of the merino. So the merino is the softness standard. <laughs> if you're wanting, that's what everybody's working towards. Something like merino in their their sheep, whatever kind of sheep it is. So, um, and I I don't know for sure, Susan, where where merino started. I don't know. I just know it's everywhere now. Um, yes, in in Australia. Yeah, there are a lot of sheep in Australia. Um, it's, you know, you don't hear about sheep that much. And so you forget that sheep sheep raising is still pretty big business, um, not just for meat. And these, 
the wool, this kind of wool um, is not the kind of wool that's on a sheep that you would eat. <laughs> so these, these, uh, these lambs and these sheep are, they're treated like babies. Uh, the ones that they get this kind of wool off of and they take good care of them <laughs> because they want to get wool every year. So, Hi, Beth. I'm glad you're here. Hi, Joyce. Um, I have a book. It's in the house, but it's different breeds of sheep and what their wolves are used for. Um, it's a nice little book, but um, there are, you're right, Beth, there are lots and lots of breeds of sheep. Okay. There is that. And then um, some of you had said you wanted to see my $3 worth of clothes. <laughs> Do y'all still want me to show you those shirts that I got? for the fabric and the buttons. Uh, if you do, let me know and I'll pull them out and show you. I brought them out here. But um, when I went and I got those three bags of shirts, the um, out of those three bags, we ended up with five things that we could wear. And so that more than paid for it. I mean, $3 for five pieces of clothing that you can wear is pretty good. But uh, but then I got all this other stuff. And it's all been washed. And um, so I'm just going to show it to you. Some of it I got for the fabric and some for the buttons. But this one I picked up for the buttons. It has the shell um, mother of pearl. Uh, is that mother of pearl? No. What is that? What is that called? Is that mother of pearl? <laughs> I can't remember. Anyway, it has those shell buttons on it. It's also a really pretty green. It looks darker on the camera than it really is. But um, it's not cotton. So I don't know if I'll, how much of it's rayon polyester blend. But it's a pretty green. I might could use the, the fabric for something too. But I got it for the buttons. Yeah, it looks like abalone. That's the word I was looking for. But um, anyway. So there's that one. Let's see. I wish I had brought another box to t set them into when I got through. Um, so let me see. How, how am I going to do this? Um, okay, I'm just, <laughs> let me find another box, just a second. Okay, sorry. I just don't want to. My floor is messy. I don't want to stick this on the. Just throw these down on the floor. So, as I washed them as soon as I got them home. <laughs> okay. And this one I got because I like the fabric. And this is white cotton with the blue. I thought that was really pretty. Thank you, Janet. And um, the buttons on it are really not anything special, but I'm sure I'll take them off and keep them. They're just white buttons. They say Croft and Barrow on them. But it's got some pockets. I might just take the pockets like they are and use them like that. This one, um, I like the plaid, so it'll probably, some of the fabric will probably get used, but I got it also for the buttons. It has these little metal buttons. It's a really weird looking shirt though. It buttons down to here 
And then it's got this ruffle. I don't know. I put it on. It fit me, but it just looked really weird. So <laughs> it would make a pretty journal cover, wouldn't it? And it's it's very soft. Um, let's see. It's 100% rayon. And this one, Hannah just laughed when she saw this one. She goes, this is a shirt? <laughs> and of course, it's it's a really big shirt, but it's, um, look, it's, it's completely, like, see-through. <laughs> but, um, but I thought that would just be fun fabric to work with. And then it has some more of those um, abalone or mother of pearl or the shell buttons on it. So this is, I don't even know what this is made of. It's probably polyester. Let's see if it'll tell us. Somewhere there ought to be a, a label that says something. I guess it was right there and it's gone. But anyway, it's interesting. It's a jacket shirt. Yeah. Not my style, but I thought the fabric looked fun. But I didn't get, you know, these aren't ones I got for me to wear anyway. And I got this denim one because denim's always fun. And it also has these metal buttons that are old navy buttons. But um so that there's lots of stuff I can do with that one. And this is the one there were two of. <laughs> so I ended up getting two of these. But I just thought that was pretty fabric. And um, and then, of course, I'll, I also like the buttons because it has, it has these green, green buttons. They look bluer here, but they're green. So thanks, Janet. Yeah, I'm sure that whoever wore it wore something under it. I, but um, it just, Hannah was just, kind of, <laughs> she wasn't thinking about that. She was just kind of appalled by the fabric itself. It would not, it was not a fabric that would be comfortable to wear. You would have to wear it because you wanted to be fancy or something because it it's, it's a stiff, uncomfortable looking fabric. Anyway, so there's that one. And then I got this jacket, and I wish that I could wear it. It, um, I love it. It's a little too tight in the arms, and then it's too big everywhere else. But I love the fabric. So, um, definitely going to make a journal with this. Or maybe more than one. But that was a really cute jacket, and I wish I could have worn it. It says it's a, a small. <laughs> Obviously, it was mislabeled because I haven't worn a small in 30 years. But anyway, <laughs> 20 years at least, 25 years. But um, but it was too big around, and the sleeves were too. The sleeves were small. The rest of it was extra large. So, <laughs> um, but I but I think the fabric's gorgeous. So. I was excited. It's a nice heavy fabric. It'll make a, a good journal cover. And then this one, um, it's just a plaid, but plaid's always good. But it has little metal buttons too that are really cute. They say pork chouse, but, um, but they're cute metal buttons. But this is just a cotton blouse. It has a little bit of green in it. I don't know if you can see the green or if you can just see the blue. But. Yeah, Sharon, I'm going to be interested to see what I do with it, too. <laughs> and then this is a. Just a little bitty stripe. But I love these pleats. I thought that would be so fun to put in a journal. And then it had um, 
really pretty kind of pewter. They're kind of um, oil slick, I guess, looking <laughs> pewter buttons. And it's a it's a cotton fabric, mostly cotton. I think it's a blend of some sort, but um, but it's pretty. And then this is one. Um, this looks like such soft, comfortable fabric. I wish I could actually wear this one. But it's um, it's an old navy. And so I just bought it for the fabric. I thought maybe that I could wear it, but it's it. I mean, it fits me. It I can get it on, but it's not. Um, it's not flattering. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. It was made for someone a little smaller than me. And this one is a knit, but it's got, it's got some really pretty fabric. It might do, you know, make a journal cover too. It's, um, I don't know if it says, it doesn't say what it's made out of, but it has these, um, I think they're they're plastic, but they look metal. Uh, beads sewn onto it, and I thought those would be fun to use. They look um, kind of like worn copper. They look browner on the camera, but um, there, that looks better. That's that's pretty much what they look like. Yeah, it's a good way to get fabric that's, you know, more expensive than what you could you could normally afford. Okay, then I've got all of these. Okay. <laughs> so, let's just start at this end. This is a cute jacket. Um, it's another one that I wish I could wear. And I, I could, it just fit me funny. I could have, you know, made myself wear it, I guess. It's got a little bit of spandex in it, but it's mostly cotton. But it has nice buttons. But I, I bought it because I love the fabric. It's kind of a denim um, feel, like a denim with a little bit of fan, spandex in it. And it looks, um, it's really a bluer, it looks grayer or blacker on the screen to me, but anyway, here's, so there's that one and it has these, um, metal buttons. And I, I like this fabric okay, but I bought it for this. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I just love that. Um, and the fabric's usable. It's it's a nice fabric, but but the appliques, I mean the those are the reason that I bought the shirt. <laughs> and this is just red. It's um, a darker, it looks orangier on the camera, but it's kind of a, Microfiber, I guess, is what it would be called. Let's see if it says, it says 100% polyester, but it feels like that um, microfiber stuff that you would upholster a couch with or something. It's really soft feeling. Kind of feels a little bit suede. -y. It kind of feels like suede, 
and it has these little metal buttons on it. It's a size zero. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's just hilarious. Okay. Now, it is a um, Chico's brand. And so, their size zero, I mean, I think I wear a, a two in this brand. So, it's it's just, it's, I just think they're sized funny. But, um, but this is a size zero. And it is not, it's not terribly small. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know what they have that's smaller than zero. And this is, look at these buttons. They're shank buttons. But they're just really pretty. And then this is a stretchy kind of spandexy. But it's got a, um, I don't know if you can see that. It has a texture to it. Kind of like corduroy, but not. I don't know how to explain it. Um. And it doesn't have a label that says anything, but it's a cotton blend. It's probably cotton spandex blend. It's stretchy, but it feels like cotton. So, and I'll, you know, it's green. It's pretty. It's actually a prettier green than it looks on camera. It's a brighter, a brighter green. And then this one is a tiny little shirt. It's extra small. <coughs> but I, I just had to have it for the jelly plate. That's what this one's for. Ribbed. Yes, Beth, it's ribbed. Yeah, the trim is, is a very silky uh, ribbon. Anyway, this is, this is for the jelly plate. And this just, um, it was just interesting. I thought it might be usable for journals as well. It's just a cotton blouse, 100% cotton. Too small for me and too big for Hannah. If I could have worn it, I would. I would probably wear this one, but, um, and I don't, the buttons aren't anything special, but I just thought the fabric was interesting. Uh, I really like the kinds of patterns and the art that's on the shirts that come from India. Uh, I'll, I'm always drawn to those. And so um, I'm not surprised that I grabbed that one. <laughs> and then this is that same shirt, except one was a um, medium and one was extra large. So And this... Is a fancy something. It's a size six. It's polyester, 95% polyester, 3% spandex, and 2% rayon. But um, it was a it was a fancy blouse. It's been sewed kind of like a um, crazy quilt or something. But I just think I think that's pretty. I think that'll make a pretty journal covers. But it also has these really pretty big buttons that have little tiny flowers all the way around the edges. I don't know if you can see that or not. But there's four of those buttons. So it was worth buying just for those buttons. But um, I'll probably use the fabric too. Okay, I've got two more things. I need to put some of these back in here or I'm going to end up with them on the floor. Okay. This is just a little cotton shirt. But it has, um, 
it has cute little metal buttons. And Hannah likes this color, so I thought she might like it. It's her size, but she didn't really like the um, the sleeves on it. So, but this quilted stuff will make pretty pockets. This is it looks blue on the screen, but it's really more of a um, turquoise color. And then this is a jacket that um, I just thought it was pretty fabric. It was prettier before I washed it, but <laughs> but it's a, I'm not sure what it's made out of. Let's see. It says it's polyester and linen. I thought linen and rayon. Okay, the exterior, this part is linen and rayon. I thought it didn't feel like polyester. This is polyester. So, but, um, but it's got pretty flowers on it. So, I don't know. I'm not really big on yellow. But, um, I had room in my bag. So, <laughs> and it's got, um, it's got nice buttons for yellow. These are really nice. They're kind of a butter, a butter color. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Now I have spent almost an hour <laughs> doing show and tell. So, okay. That's all of that. Now I've got to move some stuff because I've got everything sitting around me. I think I need to take about a month off from making videos and just reorganize my studio. It's probably not going to happen, but that's what I should do. That's what I should do. Yeah, I thought that was good for three bucks plus five things that we could actually wear. Four shirts for Hannah and a sweater, kind of shawly type sweater for me. Um, so that was that was good. Um, oh, I wanted to show y'all also that um, what this looked like after we decoupaged on it. And this is, um, this is Violet's and I'm going to send it to her and I'm not going to do anything else to it. I decorated the cover some and, um, and I'm just going to let her, I'm going to let her do what she wants to in here. But I thought I'd show, show it to you real quick and then. And then I'm going to mail it off to her tomorrow. Her own little leaf journal to do whatever she wants to with. I still don't know what I'm going to do with mine. I still haven't bound mine yet. So, um, so I'm going to need to need to do that. I guess I could do that tonight, but I don't really want to. I'm not really in the, um, binding mood so that's that's Violet's journal yeah you do you need to look in the clothes section because well especially if they have a you know one of those everything you can fit in a bag type sales <laughs> Because that's, um, that's what made that worth doing. I probably wouldn't have bought any of those things even for a dollar a piece if I wasn't, if I wasn't sure I could wear them, you know. Because um, none of them, I mean, they had, I liked the buttons on a lot of them and the fabric on a lot of them. But none of them were, oh, I love this. I have to have it. I'll spend a couple of bucks to buy it. Um, they were just things that like, oh, yeah, that's pretty enough to put in a bag, you know. <laughs> Uh, so, um, 
There have been times in the past when I didn't have any fabric that I would have done that easily. But I've got a lot of fabric right now, so I didn't really need them. Um, okay, so I'm going to send this to Jan uh, to Janet, to Violet. So that's that. And then what else was I going to show you? Um, I think that's pretty much it, probably. Oh, I also I want to say again real quick, and then I'll say it again later at the end. But um, tomorrow, Tanya and I are still planning to stream at 2 o'clock on my channel. But there is something that might interrupt that. And if that happens, we might be a little bit late or we might um, have to move it to Wednesday afternoon. If we're going to be late or we're going to move it to Wednesday afternoon, I will post in my group and in Tanya's group. So um, be looking there. If you don't see anything, then we'll probably be here at two o'clock like we plan. We just won't know. It's one of those things that we won't know till the last minute. So, um, okay. Let's play in our, um, our mystery box. Move that over there. I made a video this afternoon that won't go up till tomorrow, but I'm going to give y'all a quick sneak peek at that real quick. A quick sneak peek. I finished this journal this afternoon. And made a video putting it together. So here's a quick sneak peek. At this little journal. This is my special precious stuff journal. that My first precious stuff journal. So um, I think it turned out really well. It's got lots of room to be embellished. And I'm going to leave the embellishing to the owner. Because that's the fun part. Okay, I'm leaving this like this because I want to make sure that the, the binding is really glued down well because it's a hidden binding. And this way I can leave it like this and get that to, uh, to glue down really well. So that's why it's, um, that's why it's standing like this <laughs> till tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, look for us, Sharon, because probably we'll be here, but there is a chance that we won't. So I'm glad you like it, Janet. Um, I'm glad, I'm glad too. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed every minute of putting that together. That was a lot of fun. Using your precious stuff makes something even more fun. <laughs> I'm just telling you, you need to get your precious stuff out and use it. I'm going to show you all real quick, for those of you who haven't watched me do this before, this is my mystery box journal. This is the mystery box that has, I it just, everything got stuffed in here and I decided to use it for this journal. So, um, this is the front cover and the back cover. All this stuff came out of here. And of course, we paint and stuff I can use, but um, thank you, Janet. Thank you, Mindy. Um, so this was the first page we did. And this was the second one. And the third one. And then um, this was the fourth one. And then the rest of these that I've got in here, we did last week. So we did a bunch of them last week. But we did this one. It says, it always seems impossible until it's done. And this is a little, um, 
a little life magazine. I don't know if it was a, uh, the Mutual Life Insurance Company of New York, I guess, gave these out. Anyway. And then we did this one. And I just put coffee dyed paper down. And I just loved that paper, so I didn't want to cover it up too much. So I put this little girl having fun playing in the mud and the little poem that was with that picture. And then this one we made, um, put a bunch of things together to make this collage. And it says, and there in the twilight, how jolly to see the cocoa and animals waiting for me. So there's that one. And then somehow I skipped a bunch of pages without realizing it. And then we put down these two pictures. Well, this picture and this picture and kind of painted them in. Um, so that was a lot of fun. We spent the rest of the night doing that. Hi, Barb. It's good to see you. So tonight we're going to, we're going to work right here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do like I've done before, which is find a, a focal. Oh, look at that puppy. Darlene. That's what it says. Darlene. Okay, see, I'm having trouble with this because this is a bunch of cute focal points. And so we could do a lot of pages with it. Um, and that's, you know, that's why it's in here to be used. It's precious. <laughs> it's precious. There's some preciousness in here. <laughs> but, um, but this is, oh, and look at this little guy. He says, I've been so busy at my play. I have had no time to rest all day. <coughs> so we could use a different one let's see what's on the back of it because that's always <coughs> well the kitties are cute but they don't need anything else and this we need to make something that he's looking at and put him on the page so Excuse me. Mary says make flips of them. Um, I'm, I'm not sure how that would work. It might. I guess we could just decorate like this is a page and then flip it open and decorate under here. <clears throat> this is a little too big to um i would need to trim it down some to do that but that's a good idea let's try it when you can't choose yeah well this wasn't that big that hard of a choice for me because i'm a dog lover i like cats but i love dogs and so so that was an easy choice but i'm gonna um i want to check one thing this doesn't have a copyright date it just says Lynette trademark. <laughs> Printed in the USA. Um, I might could make copies of it. It might be that old. I don't know. But let's trim off the sides and see if we want to make it a flip. I'm going to go ahead and take the top off since I took those other sides off because it just somehow looks weird. Okay. If I put it right there, if I'm going to decorate it as if it's one piece, I'm probably going to need to go ahead and put it down. Um, 
you know, tape it down so I can go over the tape some too. Hmm. He's looking at a cookie because he was a good boy. He might be. The problem with using it this big is that there's not room for whatever he's looking at. So let's trim off some more and see if we can make us still make a flip that we like and um, and give him some space. Trim it off a little bit more over here. Nobody will know we cut off that kitty's tail. We'll just say it's hiding behind her. He might be looking at her. <coughs> well, we almost got rid of Darlene. We may get rid of Darlene anyway, but. This is cute, though. See how she's scolding that puppy? Now, we might could put this in here. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> Oh, goodness gracious. I'm so sorry. I got choked a little bit. I swallowed wrong. So it's going to take me a minute to recover. Nineteen forty. Okay. Well, I'm glad to know that, so I don't have to feel bad that I didn't go ahead and make copies because I can't make copies of one that's that new. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'm gonna fussy cut around her. I think they're in my box with all my stuff to make tags. So. Two other pairs of scissors. But I don't see them. Just use these little scissors.
sometimes I just have to get little bits out of my way so I don't if I try to leave it all on there it's kind of like um, I've watched some people who do that they go all the way around everything without and it's all one you know it's just an inside piece and an outside piece when they get finished it reminds me of when I was a little girl and my mom used to peel an apple she could take an apple peeler and peel a whole apple with one long string of skin I don't think I've ever been able to do that. But she didn't have any trouble doing that. And, of course, I liked it because she would give me the skins and I got to eat them. And it turned out to be a good thing because that's the healthiest part of the apple. So, hey. <laughs> okay, let me trim off this side. Okay, so we can put her there. But if I do if I do this and tip it in, I have to scoot it over about like this. Well, we don't quite cover her up. Okay, let's take a little bit off here. Hi, Sandra. It's good to see you. Susan says, my grandpa did that with his old dirty pocket knife and asked you if you wanted a bite. <laughs> no, thanks, grandpa. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, and I just didn't quite get that. Okay. My problem is I don't know how to make this incorporate um, into one picture here. Except what about copyright? Oh, um, I'm not sure if you're talking to me or someone else, Julie. But unless it was copywritten before 1926 or 28, I'm not sure which year it is. Um, you can't make a copy of it and use the copy. You have to use the original. And so that's why... Um, That's why I didn't make a copy. Um, and yes, uh, Susan, I can fussy cut the dog. Are you talking about this dog or this one? The point, and it would be cute just to fussy cut this dog and put him on top, you know, over that one. Except I think his tail would get cut off. Fussy cut the hand instead. Well, okay. Here's an idea. Okay, here's an idea.
I'm going to um, I will say that a lot of people do make copies of something and if they're using it just for themselves and they're not going to sell it and um and I'm not telling you what to do. That's, you know, a personal choice. But technically, you're not supposed to do that. Um, if you're not selling it, you're probably not, you know, there's no reason for anybody to know and to get on to you. But, um, but technically, you're not, you're supposed to use the original if, um, if it's still under copyright. I probably should have um, put her on cardstock first if I'm going to do what I'm thinking about doing. But let me go ahead and cut these out too because to do what I'm planning to do, I'll need to, they'll need to be fussy cut out too. Oh, I just cut off the parts that look chewed. I was like, why did they draw that like that? <laughs> oh, Lisa, pay attention. Oh, well, it still looks a little chewed. Okay, how many of you have found yourself a mystery box to start to make you a journal using the stuff inside it or built you a mystery box? If you're like me, you could throw a bunch of stuff um, into a box and wait a week and you wouldn't remember what was in there. So it would be a mystery box anyway. <laughs> All right, we're about to get him cut out here. It is fun. I got, um, I just found this box and I couldn't figure out why it had the weird assortment of stuff in it that it did. Because normally when I put stuff in a box, I have some rhyme or reason to it and this was just a whole bunch of eclectic stuff and I finally realized this was when I was cleaning out a bunch of boxes like last November and I was just consolidating the stuff I liked the best out of those boxes into this box and then got rid of the stuff I didn't really care about and so um and so I had put all this stuff together just to to be the stuff I kept, you know. Um, anyway, I decided I need to use it. Okay, now then, we can put them right down here. 
and put her there and we can have him tip in here and have her tip in up here. So you have to flip her out to flip him up to see who really, who really did the deed. And this way, it looks like this is the dog that messed up, but it really wasn't him. It was this dog. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to trim this off a little bit more, though, because it needs to go down a little bit further. So what do y'all think about that plan? Thanks, Mary. Hi, Mary. Mary Kay. It's good to see you. Mina's entire house is a mystery. <laughs> oh, well, um, I used to have stuff in the living room, in the dining room, in my bedroom, and out here. Now I have stuff out here and one little cart of stuff in the living room that I use um, to work on a project while I'm watching people stream. And then I have a bunch of books stored in my bedroom. But um, other than that one, and my sewing machine is stored in my bedroom. Other than that, everything now is out here except for the books and the sewing machine that are in my bedroom and that one little cart that's in the living room. Because of that, now I can't hardly walk out here. So I'm going to have to get rid of some stuff because this place is not very usable now that I've moved everything out here. So, um, oh, look, when she covers this up, it says Arlene instead of Darlene. I don't know if they will or not, Mary. It'll be a mystery. They might not even realize they need to flip this. Okay, first thing we want to do is we need to put something, some stuff on here. Make a, a background. Something colorful so that she really shows up. And so these little this little guy shows up. And then we need to somehow work this into it into whatever we put down there <laughs> your room resembles that remark yeah <laughs> okay so let's start by covering this up um well, that's not big enough but it would be a it would be a start a place to start Let's see what else we've got we can use instead. Hmm. Let's see if any of these will translate themselves into a background for that. I don't know if they will or not, but ooh, that one's pretty. That um, that one might, except that doesn't really belong. Okay, let's trim this to make it fit the page. And then we can decide. We'll have to make up a part of the story for this little guy. He's, he's riding on a cloud. Journal a sentence on the back of the lady. Okay. So let's figure out... Okay, first of all, I'm going to trim this side because we know it needs to be straighter than that. Mm 
now then. Okay. Let's trim a little bit of this off because that's torn. And then let's trim a little bit from this side. We'll probably still need to take off a little bit more. Oh, took off a little too much heightwise. That's okay. We'll just bring it in a little bit and leave a little bit of a border. I like to do that anyway. Okay, let's um I think I like that, but um, where did I put, there it is. Go ahead and ink the page a little bit. We'll see. We're going to test it out once I get it inked up and everything and see if if it's going to be if it's not going to work. If it doesn't work, we won't do it. I did say I wanted something colorful behind her and this isn't terribly colorful, so but it does work well with the paper from the dog. So we'll just see. We'll see if she shows up or not. If we turn this into some green, like grass and bushes, um, maybe this guy ends up getting in trouble and it's really him that did it. I don't know. And we could put this shoe over here. So that, oh, no, it won't. Maybe just a little bit of it peeking out. Yeah. 
You think it looks okay, Mina? Thanks. Hi, Dana. I'm glad you're here. Okay, I think I'm going to glue this down, and then we'll decide. Um, okay, that's right. Calm down, girl. I'll tell you what really happened. <laughs> Let's go ahead and glue this down. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> you can be just a watcher. That's true. I had never thought about it like that, Susan, but lurking does sound uh, less benevolent than watching. <laughs> Okay, dinner and a show. There you go, Mary Kay. Uh, I feel privileged that you think this is a good enough show. You want to eat your dinner while you watch. Okay, I think I need to ink around these black and white things too. I think I do. Oh, don't worry about it, Mary Kay. Um, we say people are lurkers all the time, and we don't mean it in a bad way, and you didn't either. Um, don't don't fret. Susan wasn't getting on to you. Hi, Deborah. You're a watcher also. <laughs> That's fine. I love my watchers just like I love my chatters. <laughs> I just know when the chatters are there and I don't always know when the lurkers or the watchers are there. So I do like knowing that you're there. So thanks for popping in and telling us. Okay, that may have been a little more than it needed, but. Okay. Um, let's see. Do y'all think I should paint this and make it into greenery like he's outside? Or do you think we ought to just leave them in the clouds? They're just kind of in the clouds right now. And I'm okay with them being in the clouds. It does give them something to um, ground them, even even though it's grounding them in the air. <laughs> Hi, Val. It's good to have you here. I don't think I've seen you in chat before, but I'm glad you're here. Hey, Tanya. We're glad you're here. Hey, Renee. I'm glad you're here, too. Hand sewing a canvas doll. Oh, very cool. That's okay, Tanya. You're a busy woman. It's all right. Candy says, leave it. Mina says she thinks the green's a good idea. You didn't like the clouds, but now you do. Okay. Well, I kind of I kind of do too. I think it's um it, it gives it a twilight zone kind of atmosphere. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, good. Well, I'm glad you were laying down, Tanya. You needed to rest. You needed to rest. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to glue these guys down here. And we're going to make a way to tip her in. And then I'm going to write on the back who really did it. Who really did it? And I want to write softly because um, it will end up marking it. And I don't want to do that. Okay. Now I need some paper to make my flip flippy thingy. But let's glue these guys down first. The darkness at the bottom looks good. Okay. Well, we're going to let it be the ground. Let me find something to use. Oh, I should have something. Right here, we'll just use this. I have tons of old book pages. I can to use one for glue. Okay. Maybe I didn't get very much glue on that. There we go. Now then, I need something fairly sturdy that I can use. Oh, I've got a piece right here let's see that may not work it may um no that's going to be okay All right, let's do it the way we had it first because that part won't show that way All right, let's see. Make it a little bit shorter. And we're going to glue this right down on here. Oh, thank you, Deborah. I'll show you the zipper pouch that she's talking about here in a minute. And I got a question for you, Tanya. <laughs> you weren't here when I was um, showing the stuff I got at Dollar Tree. So I didn't get to ask you then, so I'll ask you now. Alrighty, let's get this on the page, though. Woo. That was close. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> well, that didn't work out quite so well. But we're going to leave it. Because it won't, it's not like it's going to get flipped open every day, so. We don't want him 
biting her finger. <laughs> it looks like she's sticking her finger in his mouth. Hmm, that would be a whole new story. Okay, that's a little bit better. We're just going to have to go all the way out here. Now, I just realized that um, I've done this without building in the background. Oh, question. I'm sorry, Tanya. <laughs> okay, let me show you what I got. And ask, ask my question. Uh, first of all, I, I'll show you what I got at Dollar Tree. I got these little tags I'm going to add into my tag book. And I got these um, erasers. Just thought I'd show you in case yours had them. Mine just had these two. But you've been talking about using board books for a project. And um, I didn't have any board books. But you said something about some that were oddly shaped. And so I got these at Dollar Tree. And I can do something else with them if they won't work for your project. But I just thought I would see if these will work for whatever kind of project it is that you have in mind. Oh, that's the end of that. Yes, they will. Okay. Thank you. And um, this is the bag that I got. I forgot I had this. I got it to put my water brushes and stuff in. But I forgot about that when I was thinking about putting pockets on here. But I remembered today. And it's the perfect size just to put with this. So that's what I'm going to do instead of putting pockets on here. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Just as long as um, I've got what I need. That's what I needed to know. Okay. I think I'm going to just use some... Um, If we put a treat right here, then it could look like she's giving it. But look, the look on her face is pretty accusatory. Maybe she, <laughs> maybe he bit her finger when she was when he was getting the treat. And then you open it up here, and it's a whole different story. Oh, cool, Mary Kay! That'd be fun. Okay, now I got to see what y'all are talking about. Holding stuff up with rubber bands. I got to see what. I hope you're not talking to me, Susan, because. Oh, knee sock. Okay, good. You weren't talking to me. <laughs> yeah, my knee socks always did that. They always came down. Okay. I was thinking about trying to use uh, do something into here to make this kind of blend in with that. This kind of blends in a little bit up here, but this down here might need to be covered up. What do y'all think? Give him some clouds to sit on. That might be enough to tie it in. 
um, and I may have to do it with paint. I was thinking about inks, but I don't think I have a gray ink. I have some Distress Oxide ink. See, I have that antique linen, which I think, but this is already maybe darker than that. I don't know. Ground espresso, that might work. And there's some blue. We might could use some blue too. Okay, let's just play with those a little bit and see. Oh, I hit the camera. Did I knock y'all nuts? I don't think I did. Okay. Okay, whoops. I want to go ahead and um, use some washi tape and put this in. If I can find something that will um, not be weird on there. Hmm. I may not have anything. I guess I could use some of this. Just cut it skinny. That would blend in kind of, I think. I'm going to put it on here and then um, trim it off. I'm just going to do it right there. Doesn't have to doesn't have to be as wide as the whole thing. And <laughs> okay. Oh, here are my fuss cutting scissors <laughs> that I couldn't find a minute ago. Okay, I'm going to stick that right up there and use it for the other side as well. Put a little bit of glue on here. Ooh, made that a little bit too wide. We're just going to make it be okay. <laughs> We're just going to make force it to work. Okay, now we want to cut this. Okay, there's that. Oh, 
Oh, your pet portraits are wonderful, Mary. I wish I could make myself get up in time to, to watch you do that, but I'm just barely sleeping then. <laughs> okay. Um, think I may add a little bit of this blue in here and that way I can add the blue on down in here we will see Ooh, that kind of overdid it up there. All right, let's dry this a little bit and see if that helps it. Okay, now then, let's see if we can, Oh, that's, well, <laughs> okay. That's not blackish at all. I thought it was. Let's see if we can maybe make this a little browner. If it doesn't work one way, make it work a different way. It is browner up here, but okay, we need to add some black. Thing it is. Oh. I'll try it with this.
Okay. Let's dry it. Maybe it'll stay put. Okay. Did y'all notice that when you open this up, it looks like he's looking longingly at that kitty's milk? <laughs> hmm. Okay. Well, there's that page. We're going to call that done. Does that work for y'all? Look at my hands. I got to clean up a little bit. Okay, I think it turned out pretty good. Thank you, Mary, for the tip-in idea. Because I wouldn't have done it, and it would have not ended up this cute. So, I'm happy. I think it's going to be okay. Um... Hi, Patricia. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, and I know this for a fact, because I saw it so many times with my dog. If it's something they did more than half a second ago, whatever you're saying to them, they don't get it. You know, why are you talking to me about that? You know, that it's like they don't connect what you're saying right now to something they did 10 minutes ago or an hour ago or whenever they did that, you know, um, unless you catch them in the act, they don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it doesn't connect to the bad thing because they don't know it's a bad thing. Unless you're one of those owners that grabs the shoe and hits them with it, which I was never one of those owners. Um, then they might connect it to the shoe, but it still wouldn't know that they did something bad. They would just think that, that you're mean with shoes. <laughs> okay. There we go. There's that one. Okay, now that I'm trying to decide, I had thought about just painting on this and um, would y'all rather me paint on this or would you rather work do another one of these pages? Because I'm going to do one or the other. I'm going to try to get off a little bit early so um, I don't have time to do both. So I'm going to let you tell me what you think. Paint on the canvas or do another page. Hi, Denise. It's good to see you. Well, so far we have one for each choice. So we're going to have to have some more votes.
Okay, we got lots of other pages, but there was also a question about what would I do on the canvas. And I'm not 100% sure, but I will show you kind of what I was thinking. I've got these books and um, let's see if I can find. I was thinking it would be fun to do something similar to this. Um, and it wouldn't be exact this, but, you know, taking that idea or, um, or this. Thank you, Denise. We got lots of do another page and that's the easiest because I've got all the stuff already out here. Next week we'll do we'll work on the canvas because that might take all night. Um, so we'll we'll choose one of these to do next week. We'll since we had so many people vote for do another page, that's what we'll do. It'd just be easier anyway, since the stuff's already out here. And the canvas is going to take a while. Yeah, that's true. Although it's not, you know, um, my painting skills are such that it will be doing good if it's very abstract version of what we're trying to paint. So, <laughs> yeah, another page wins. Oh, do you, Susan? I got these at a, a garage sale a while back. Um, I've got some others, some other ones too, but those were the two that um, I just saw them and thought, I need to do something with these. What would I do with these? And then I saw those pictures and thought, oh, I could paint that or at least try to. Okay. Let's put this over here. Move that. So we need another focal point. Um, I don't know. I've got... This might be fun. Let's see. I've got these. We might could um, work those into a page. Only it would probably be. We could take these up, cut these, fussy cut these out and put them on a page. So that's one idea. We could, you know, paint some water on here and then put our black and white stuff on the water. We've got that that we could use as a, or this. Okay. Do under the sea. Okay. We'll do we'll do that. <clears throat> yeah, they all look fun, don't they? Okay. We're going to we're going to do this. So it's going to take me a minute to fussy cut them out. I don't prepare what I'm going to do in this ahead of time. Um, because part of doing this is the process of deciding what you're going to use. Uh, 
I think I may go ahead and leave these. No, I'll draw some vines. I'll paint some vines. Or vines. Seaweed, whatever you want to call it. Some kind of sea vegetation. not very good at talking and fussy cutting <laughs> definitely don't can't read the chat and fussy cut so i hope you're not saying anything important <laughs> you're probably saying, no use the use the vines use the seaweed don't make your own but i thought if i if i paint that and that will kind of incorporate him into the picture better. And the fish too. If I could make some of the seaweed go over the fish as well. Hi, right, Mary. Okay, let's make a backup trash there. It's really weird the things that you feel when you're the the hostess, you know, this person streaming and the things that you, how do you feel about things when you're watching? I was just sitting here feeling guilty for cutting these out. Well, y'all have to just sit there and watch me do that. And then I was thinking, I always enjoy watching people fussy cut. So why, why do I feel bad about it? It's weird. I mean, I know there are some people who probably don't enjoy watching people fussy cut, but Kind of like watching people glue stuff down. I love to watch people glue stuff down.
Oops. I don't see anybody chatting. Am I putting you to sleep by fussy cutting? <laughs> I hope not. We're getting there. We just got a couple more. Oh, Cheryl's still here. Okay, Julie's still here. Okay. I I don't I know I can look up at there and see that there are people watching, but I still get kind of paranoid when the chat doesn't move for a while. I'm like, okay, what's going on? Is it am I gone? <laughs> I just don't know it. One more. Whew. Okay, Sandra's still watching. <laughs> okay, thank y'all. I, I feel better now. Okay, let's get all this <coughs> stuff off of here. Okay. I think I want to go ahead and ink these pieces. Um, I know that doesn't surprise any of you, but um, then we'll we'll go ahead and make some water. Give them a place to live. These skinny little pieces are kind of hard to ink. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it is in the bubble, actually. It's in the math bubble. Melissa I'm just making a page in my mystery box journal we're gonna paint an ocean for these 
fish and the seahorse to live in in just a minute. I just cut these off of a book page, and so um, we're going to give them a place to live in just a minute. One more. And then we'll get messy. Okay. Gotta get some stuff out of the way here. Three with scissors. And I think I want to get this box out off from here too. Okay, let's move these over here where they can't get messed up. Okay. And I need some wax paper or something to go underneath that. I don't think this is big enough, but it was sitting over there, so we'll we'll give it a check before I go find some wax paper. No, not quite. Okay, maybe it'll work there. Okay, there we go. Actually. Okay. Hmm. Let's get some paint. Let's get some greens. And some blues. I don't know. Let's see what's midnight blue. I think that one's midnight blue too. Okay, two greens and two blues. And then we may need some white. Okay. I got to run in the house for just a minute. So you guys have to forgive me and chat amongst yourself here for a second. And I really messed up this camera here. Okay, there we go. Be back in just a minute. Sorry.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Thank you very much. Okay. Now then, we're going to... Oh, I need a, something to put paint on. I guess I could just put it on here. Yeah, let's just do it that way. Because we can... Okay. Tanya was out of the room. Well, so was I. <laughs> oh, when chat got slow, I see. Oh, well, that's okay. I don't mind. I just would hate to be sitting here thinking everything's dandy and find out that um, for some reason my stream dropped. I've never had that actually happen. So I don't know what it's like. I don't know how I would know. <laughs> anyway. Um. We're going to start by just putting some paint down. And then we will see if we can Okay. Does that kind of work? Um, let's add a little bit more white right at the top. Because that was got dark again up there, which doesn't make sense. Ah! See, I did it again. Okay. We're just going to let some streaks of the dark mix in up there. It's all right. Well, I didn't mean that much. Okay. Whew. So there's us some water. So I'm going to move this out of the way. And we're going to dry this. And then we'll add our fish and we'll add some seaweed in around the fish. So y'all are going to have to listen to this thing for a minute. Sorry about that. Thank you, Sherry. Thank y'all. I like it. I think it makes good water. Let's see how it looks when it's dry. It doesn't always look the same when it's dry.
Okay. I want y'all to know if you look back at this chat, it's really weird. We've got spaghetti, snails and seagulls and sand, starry, starry night, strawberries, colored strawberry tea bags, sandals, shades, sunglasses, sherbet, strawberry, Saturn, seahorse, starfish. <laughs> That is a weird chat. Um, but my seahorse is too big for any of this to be sky. It's all got to be ocean. So, um, but we could probably put some sand and stuff down at the bottom. Hmm. Mina's looking for S pictures. Okay, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> Thank you for writing that in the chat so I would know. <laughs> but you were chatting. Yay! That's good. I'm happy you were chatting. I just I'm just glad to be in on what it, what you were chatting about. Now I'll understand. So no, you can go on. It's fine. <laughs> I was afraid you were wanting me to put seagulls in the sky. I was like, but there's not any sky. <laughs> S words. Got it. Okay. Just list some of stuff. There you go, Holly. This is still not, um, not completely dry down here. I think that's where the, there was more paint down here. Okay. So let's, um, let's figure this out. I want him over here because he's looking this direction. I think I'm going to move the darker ones up and the lighter ones down here. Well, I had him upside down. That would be a bad mistake. <laughs> I don't want any dead fish. I don't want any dead fish. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We don't want him upside down. This isn't an aquarium. <laughs> well, the ocean, they die too, but they usually get eaten. They don't just float around. So, um, okay. Do you like the placement of that? And then we can come in and do our seaweed. Does that work for y'all? I think I like it. Oh, no. That's what happens when you sigh big and go. <laughs> oh, see, I thought I was getting away with something. Y'all wouldn't know I was sighing big. But I had to blow my papers off. So. I think, I'll, do we want... I'm trying to figure out how to. I think I'm going to put a little bit of seaweed in before I put them on. And then so some will be behind them and then add them in and put a little bit more, put more in front. <laughs> Cheryl's poems, fishy, fishy in the sea. Why are you upside down? Me, oh, me. <laughs> Except for one, they're all facing the seahorse. Yeah, that one, he doesn't care. Maybe he's with the seahorse, and so he's he's not having to face him. Okay. Uh, let me get a, a little brush. And I do need a, something to put my paint on now.
directing the choir. There you go. Mm, some red coral would be nice. Yes, it would. Hmm. Now y'all are going to make me work. Let's put some seaweed in first because I think maybe I can accomplish that. I'm not sure how good I would be with coral. We'll think about it. <clears throat> Sorry. That's getting towards the end of the day. Okay, treasure chest. Oh my goodness. No, I'm not painting a treasure chest. I don't have that much bravery tonight. Oops. <laughs> I really didn't want to get that light stuff. That was an accident. Okay, that looks really, really dark in the camera, and it's not really quite as dark as it looks. It's really green. It looks black in the camera. It almost looks like a snake, which is not what I'm going for. Red stick-looking fans. Okay, well, we'll try. <laughs> we'll try, Denise. Mermaid, Cheryl, <laughs> stop, <laughs> stop, stop. Ooh, that didn't work out very well.
On the TV, it looks green. Okay, good. Um, that may be enough to be, well, let's, let's do some that's a, one that's a mix of the light green and the dark green. And we're going to put the light green ones in front. Um, Okay. Oops. All right. Let's um let's get some Well, first I need to dry this before I put any any coral on there. check something real quick if I can find it I hope that's not it okay where did I put that book I had a book that I think had some coral in it Okay. Here's some seashells. Surely there's some coral in here somewhere. Nope. Uh, let's go back up a little bit. Snakes, fish. Hmm. Other invertebrates. <laughs> All right, let's see if coral might be under other invertebrates here. That's where crabs are. So, okay, well, this is all they show: a sea whip, star coral. Those two things are all they show. Oh, here's some up here: red beard sponge. Sea urchins. That is it. That's all they're going to show. Yes, I'm going to leave the fish black and white, Cheryl. Just because. Why not? <laughs> okay. Well, 
<clears throat> make it red, but I'm just going to do my own version because um, I don't know what else to do. Let me find a different brush. Just a second. I've got everything except the size I'm looking for. All right, we'll just make this one work. Your mind won't stop thinking. Well, that's what usually happens to me when I'm trying to go to sleep. All right, where'd my brush go? Oh, there it is. So I know I got one. <laughs> I know I got one. Kind of getting hidden here. I was afraid it was going to be too bright, but it's definitely not looking too bright. I think this is a crummy brush. Sorry.
Mm, excuse me, goodness gracious. Okay. Thank you. I think that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm tempted to put just a, a little one here. Okay. I think we're going to call that good on the coral. And I'm going to dry it. Okay, this is kind of what it looks like up close. doesn't look as nice up close as it does from a far away. <laughs> paint, go ahead and paint, uh, Janet, go ahead. <laughs> Thank y'all. Okay, so we're going to... Kind of like that. I don't think I want to hit there because I do want a piece to come up and tangle. Um, let me put this one up here. Thanks, Tanya. Thanks, Julie. Thank you, Susan, Patricia, Denise. Thanks all. Thank you all. Um, I'm having fun. I'm, I really like the um, the black and white images too. It looks they just really show up. It's kind of like putting color on a black page. <laughs> the color shows up, so this makes the black show up. Okay, let's glue these down. And then we will come back with the lighter green and do some more um, some more seaweed. Because I do want a piece to kind of tangle over him and maybe, you know, come up in front of some of these fish a little bit. So I did. I've mentioned it twice, Tanya, but um, this is probably a good time to mention it again. Tomorrow, Tanya and I are planning to stream at 2, just like normal. But there is a chance that we won't be able to. So 
Um, we might be late or we might have to move it to Wednesday afternoon. Either if we have to do one of those two things, either start late or move to Wednesday, I'll post in our groups, in my group and in Tanya's group on Facebook. Um, other, if I don't post in either one of those groups, then that means we're planning, we've, we're, we expect to be here at two on my channel. But um, so be watching for us, but also watch Facebook um, just in case. And if you're not on Facebook and we don't show up, at least you'll know why. Yeah, yes, 2 o'clock Central Time. That's the plan on my channel this week. Unless, you know, unless the need arises to do something different. And we'll be fit working on those tag books. Thanks. Thanks, Holly. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. I think one of my favorite things about this mystery box project is that there's so many different things in there that it's, um, it's really, it, you know, all the pages, it's not like there's a theme for the book. I mean, the theme is you stuff out of the box, but there's so many different things in there that it doesn't have to, oh, thank you, Janet. Um, it does, you know, that this book doesn't have a specific theme except that I'm using stuff out of that box. And I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying the, that you never know what page you're going to do, how it's going to turn out. Oh, I almost put him upside down again. Almost put him upside down again. I hear thunder. We need the rain. We need the rain. Yes, Lord, please, please, please let it rain. Please, please, please. We need it desperately. Yay, Julie. That is going to be so adorable. I, I just, I love what you've been doing with it. I think he will too. If he doesn't, you can send it to me. <laughs> Tell him he has to be properly appreciative because there are plenty of other people who would love to have it. No, I'm sure he will appreciate it. If for no other reason, when he sees it, he'll know the love that went into making it. But it's really cool. Oops. Got some extra glue on there. Okay. Everybody's glued down. <laughs> yeah, I love note from you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay. Whew.
Thank you, Janet. Thank you, Mina. I really, I, I'm afraid if I do, too, I don't want to do too much and mess it up. So I'm just going to do. Just a couple more. I think I need to stop. Oops. I didn't mean to make that go up that high. Stop, Lisa. Okay, that's it. I'm stopping. I'm stopping right now. Thank you. I'm happy with it. I'm going to dry it a little bit. Okay, that's going to need to sit and, and do some more drying, but um, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to put some of this paint. in my everything book here. How about right there? Okay. There's a little bit of blue left on my brush. paints my air conditioner has been going this whole time so the paint's kind of drying out here so what should normally be enough paint for a couple of pages is probably just going to be enough for this right here but that's okay the point is not to paint pages the point is to not waste the paint I 
so we'll mix some of the red in. It'll turn it things kind of brown, but that's okay. Okay. That looks really ugly on the camera. It looks it doesn't look so bad in person. <laughs> Usually it's the other way around. Usually it looks better on camera than it does in person. But this one looks better in person. Bye, Denise. Thanks for coming. <laughs> you fell asleep, Beth? Oh, well, I'm glad you made it back in time to see this page before we put things up and go to bed ourselves. I think that's that's all I'm going to do. I don't paint to live. I live to paint. There you go. Well, I don't I like to paint, but I don't like it that much. I would I would probably say I live to collage. <laughs> Cuz I like to collage even better than I than I like to paint, but anyway, thank you. All right. Oh, just as Tanya put something in the comments, I got a Facebook notification, then my mouse wouldn't move. Good night, Tanya. Yes. I hope that everything gets taken care of. Good night, all. I'm going to go to. God bless you all. We'll see you tomorrow, hopefully at 2 o'clock. Bye-bye. <laughs>